Hi, this uh, is just a small update I decided to do because I get a lot of people is asking me what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. But you know, I, I you know I can only go so fast as I receive all the material. Um, I receive uh, a monster UPS, which is capable of uh, putting out over eight amp constantly. It's industrial. As you see, it's open. I didn't. We didn't get. I didn't want the battery because it's too heavy for transport and it costs a fortune. So I got it without the battery. So I just have to build a battery pack for it, and uh, you need 96 volts uh, on the batteries. You know, and this thing is like a beast. I mean, it is huge. Uh, you probably won't need that for the purpose of a generator. I need that for the purpose of testing all kinds of different things and looping it up. So I can always use the, the beast to loop it up and find out exactly what's my, my maximum draws or whatever it is and then purchase another UPS the right size and so it's not so big and bulky. But uh, And I also decide that uh, since this beast here, this, the 10 kV, you know, is pretty heavy. I mean, it's hard by the time I get the, the, the hyperdrive on it. It's uh, 130, 140 pounds by itself, and then you need all the rest. So I decided to take a uh, a smaller generator with this. I'll give you a, a pan on it, which is uh, this one here, right? That's just the the the, the, uh, the stator of it. All the rest is at the machine shop, getting all the part machine, so I can put myself something at you know a four a four kW, and it's not so heavy, so I can move around. I get the frame. I took a brand new generator uh, from my cousin Richard. Thank you. <laughs> Here's, here, here's the part of your generator, um, a champion generator, and uh, it was a nice little thing with wheels who can move it around, so I took the gas engine off and I'm putting, I'm putting a hyperdrive, an 8 inch of the hyperdrive on it, and uh, hopefully the controller I got you know, will be able to turn that one over 4000 RPM, but uh, I have lots to tell you about, you know, when I say I'm not using electricity and I'm using and you know, all those stuff is not running in electricity, and uh, I, I can explain to you. I'm not still going to show you the controller because the controller we're on the last stage of development with the two company. We have an AC drive. You know you can put AC into it and it comes out as RF. And we have also a DC input. You can you know as the one I'm using right now. And you will see the difference between when you're using when the motor when the the, the, the hyperdrive the winding is right. And you know it's not to consume amp. Instead, it's to create torque and RPM. It's totally different how how it works, how it reacts. Because you have to understand when you're using higher volt, higher volt change everything into your currents. And and a lot of people say it's like you know well you know it doesn't work that way. Well, it works for me. So I'm gonna just gonna stick with what has worked for me, and I'm gonna forget about what people say it doesn't work that way because it's working very well for me. Matter of fact, we were very close to about maybe two weeks from now to be having a product who will literally move just about every single thing you want to move in this planet on a very small. I mean, we're talking about a fraction of the cost in order to run the unit, and the so efficiency is just so efficient you can loop it up. So you can make it run by yourself, right? So I'm going to give you a little bit of, you know, what I'm what I'm doing and what it, everything look here. So um, I'm just going to flip that around so I can give you a look what exactly underneath. See, that's the uh, the generator I'm I'm going to be putting into, and here's the the frame, right? That's, that's a 10 kV. I was going to put the 10 kV in that frame, but it's too long. The frame is not long enough, so I'm just going to stick with the 4000 and make a nice little portable generator that runs on this stuff with one tiny little of batteries, hopefully, and uh, we'll have that put together. Now, what I want to show you here, and for all the no sayer and Mr. Bob Bateman, he knows everything. I love this guy. He actually you know make me look good compared to what the bullshit is talking about alright now as you see here I didn't believe the amp meter in this year I'm sorry you can't read it's Chinese so I, I took a Chinese machine because I didn't want to waste a time so they can't print, print me an English face for it so that's the amp that's the vault right 
Now, and that's, I didn't believe it, so I put another amp meter into the line who goes into my controller to make sure I'm reading the right thing here, right? So, I hook it up to a small motor, uh, you know, it's a, uh, probably, and let me see here so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so you can pretty much read there, that's for the prop, you know, it's a 13 to 15 inch prop, 18.5 volt to 20 29.5 volt, right? So now, I'm going to, uh, that's, I'm going to turn that down, okay, we're going to put some volt into it, okay, so that guy is 29, 29 point some volt, so we'll put 29 volt. There we go. That's 29 volts, right? So now I'm going to turn this little, this little motor here, which is not a, that small of a motor. And that thing can scream, believe me. That thing, I can, I can reach probably 50,000 RPM in that thing. And look, it's turning idle on my hand, right? Look, 1.5 amp, right? And that's because this controller is very efficient. If I have a regular controller for that motor to spin that fast, it would take at least five to six amp, maybe even more, just to spin. All right? But this controller here is super efficient. So now I'm dropping down. But you're going to see, and that's, that's a controller for a, a wide that's called y, y, uh, uh, the y winding. The winding style is called Y, and or star if you want to call it like this. And it will run different type of winding, this controller, because it's a smart controller. Now we're going to turn that down, because, I mean, I can make that thing scream. And as you... And the amp keep claiming, right? Right now I'm probably turning roughly around about, I would say about 25 to 30,000. Really hard to hold right now. But they're very smooth, no jerking and nothing. You can tell when the frequency change, the sound of the motor change. Because it's all about the speed of the frequency. Now we're going to disconnect that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to disconnect from here. Alright, so we know those, those motors are made to draw amperage and, 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 and it's like very little amp we can put in here. You will see the difference between that motor and the other one, and, the, and this hyperdrive. Okay, so again. It's different, that, that is a, a different winding, that's for, that, the winding is actually a generator winding, it's a three phase generator winding, okay, so let's see what happened, oh look at that, it's turning, right, but those motor require, you know, those hyperdrive, they require a lot of volts, instead of using a lot of amp, now I'm going to crank the volt here, Ah, oh, now you kick in the second gear here. Now, that's 100 volt put in, and that's what I'm drawing, right? And the RPM right now is, I don't know if you can see that, 2000 RPM. Okay, zero again. Now let's see what this puppy can do. We'll bring it up to 200 volt. Two hundred volt output, right? Now we're spinning that baby at 40 hang on. 4263. There we go. We'll zero that again. Now let's see if we can go another harder. And look at the draw. To spin a six inches, I'm spinning a tiny little thing, and I'm I'm using two amp, right? And 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 that's good two amp with that controller. If I had if I put that to a regular RC controller, 
the sucker will draw about 10 amps just to spin by itself. So let's see how fast can I make that thing at 300. Oh yeah. The thing is ready to take off. Okay, 300 volt. Six to two hundred. Half an inch. To spin a six inch drum. Okay. Let's try at four hundred. Woo! Getting scary. I'm so scared. It's gonna blow. That's eight hundred. Eighty two hundred. Now, I could push it, but this is a 400 volt controller and I got an extra 100 volt in my, in my box that's a 500 volt power supply, right, at 4 amps output. But the, I don't want to grab that, that's 8,000 RPM. I mean, I'm not that stupid. This thing has got so much torque right now, this flywheel has so much torque on kinetic energy you can literally remove a 15 to 20 horse outboard motor and use that new drive to replace that outboard motor and go at full blast with your boat. I mean, we're talking a six inch drum by an inch thick. Now, if the people just kind of realize what I'm saying here and do the math, if it is capable of doing math, which is a problem with people today, they can even count to five, without taking their shoes off. But if anybody can count that, look, I thought I was wrong. I thought this thing was not reading right when I received it. And that's when I put another meter, an analog meter into the line, and he's telling me the same goddamn thing. It's just mind blowing. You know, and the torque. The torque is just like, it's crazy. I mean, even in the small, I mean, right now, that's 3,100. There we go. Now, watch the amperage for what I'm going to do to it. I'm going to try to choke it as a brake. Look. The thing barely moved. And it's not stopping. Hot. So I'm using the front of that thing. On the shaft, there's no way you can stop that. I mean, that thing has only got a five eighth of an inch shaft, and I guarantee <laughs> that would twist. That would that would twist just like a toothpick. You know, it's just amazing the power we can we can develop with the right RF frequency into the system because it's exactly what it is. Because look, ouch, ow, it bites me. Ah. Uh -huh. But here, I'm holding. <laughs> if you put your finger between two, you're gonna get a little bite. But see, I'm holding the wire right now, the bare wire from the motor, and you don't get any shock. But if you get put your finger out, out between the two of it, you're gonna you're gonna feel. There's no burning, no nothing. Look at my finger, right? But it does wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get energized anyway. I'm sorry, I'm sick as a dog right now. And I got this virus. I've been battling it for since last Friday. And uh, and it's going to last me another week apparently in coughing. Uh, but this is why when you put something with the right sequence and the right frequency and the right volt, volt is volume. Look. If your volt is not volume, look for all the stupid out there. I'm not using my controller here. Right? I'm not using my controller. I'm using the volt. Look. I'm using the volt. And the RPM goes up. Volt goes down, the RPM goes down. Right? So. Now, what's happening is when I'm claiming the volt, the uh, frequency also climb up. But that one is only putting me out about 25, 25 uh, kilohertz, which is way too low for what we need. 
we need, you know, 35, 40, 50, 55 to probably 100 kilohertz for the big, the big drive because bigger the drive is, all the numbers have to go up because we have a bigger volume to fill up so we have to, to, to fill up that space with, with, with resonance, with frequency and with volt. We have to fill all that valve there to get all the torque of, of, those, of those hard drives. But those more here, I'm telling you, if I don't die first, they will take over this planet for moving everything we have. We've been moving with those stupid, non-efficient, garbage electric motor we call. Because that's all they are, garbage. We've been fed with garbage for a long time. So, I'm just going to turn, turn that off and uh, I'm going to reset in my office or you know so I can I want to chat a little bit more about what's going on and stuff like this so we'll see you in a bit sorry again I'm I'm out of breath just moving my stuff around but uh, yeah so I that's how those things really work I mean like you know it they do not work like a normal a normal electric motor you know, that's what I don't call them an electric motor, that's what I call hyperdrive because they're really hyper when you put the right frequency into it and the frequency is changing. It just it's like night and day. Like you know, the the ant stay in the bottom and the RPM and the torque goes up crazy. So I mean like you know, if it, people can argue me all they want and stuff like this, but you know, I don't really care. You know, it's it's that's the way it works. So I mean like you know, it, it's this is what we after we after the power and the torque and the RPM and low and low amperage. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people they, they ask me, you know, when is going to be ready? When is going to be ready? It will be ready when it's ready. I mean, like you know, uh, I'm not rushing. I'm not racing. You know, to a finishing line to a finish line here. I'm not. I'm not I'm. I'm not a competition to nobody. Like, you know, people have stuff way better than I have. I'm not a competition to those guys. I mean, knock yourself up and use that. I have no problem with that. You know, it's a free will apparently, right? So, I mean, I don't have to do like everybody else does. And I don't feel like doing like everybody else does because it didn't work really well for the last 150 years. So, why should I keep walking in the same trail? But a lot, lot of people ask me if I can help them directly. I have no time to do that right now. When I have a lab, I will invite people to come and stay in the lab, at the lab, for a duration of probably a month so they can learn, build, pack, and go back to the country so they can teach the stuff out. That's how I'm going to do to break for, for teaching because I don't have the time to really talk to, you know, three, four thousand people on the internet and on the phone you know, to help them out, you know, how to do that. I'm, I'm running out of time. I'm just, I don't have the time. You know, as simple as that. And when I'm on the phone or I'm, I'm, I'm on, on, on the internet and talking to people for hours, hours, those hours I don't have over there in the lab. So when I'm finished and everything is good, and yes, people, the more, they're going to be more than welcome to come to the lab and learn properly in a place where all the equipment, they will be able to know what the equipment they need and stuff like this and how to 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 put those things together and work on and work on that and those type of project you know it's, it's going to be an ongoing discovery it's not going to be oh i have a product and it's you know the people can use that and that's the end of it now it's continuous discovery it doesn't the, the door i open with rf uh, i literally blow the door off i don't want a door there i want that opening to be people can actually see what rf can do RF and people don't understand is it's a motion wave. It's a wave moving. I mean, you can you can you can use an RF literally for you know you can bombard a, a, an object to RF to eat that actually lose its gravity. It became w weightless. That's what RF does. RF control this planet literally. It's a frequency which it can be manipulated, right? And, 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 and we're producing, we're making RF with equipment and we can concentrate the RF and then, as been, instead of leaking all out, we concentrate the RF into a transmission which create motion. That's all those, those hyperdrives are. 
Um, so and a lot of people also ask him about you know when where can they buy the parts? When I finish the test for 72 hours, 24/7 on the load, so I can calculate and I can test all the temperature of every item which is going on, right? And the way I see that's good enough for people to start doing you know doing their things and and, and doing research or powering their house or doing that or having a you know a generator to take in the bush or whatever. That's when the website will go and it will have all the place where you can buy and purchase. Even the stuff, it's not mine. I put it there because you will have the place, you will have all the address to go on and, and so you can, you can order that stuff. The generator and stuff like that, we're working on to have generator delivery in North America for uh, very cheap, you know, and, 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 and a normal time, two, 15 days at the most. Uh, by by uh, by uh, Seaway, and so we don't have to pay like you know a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per unit to get this thing delivered here because we're talking about lots of weight, right? So um, uh, we're working on it very hard, and uh, we're also working in uh, different, also different other technology we we're playing with, and uh, but so far now we have the company with the controller. They 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 we on the last stage of developing now and they finally listening I mean you cannot argue with engineer right so you get them let them trip over herself so they find out uh, uh, yeah he was telling me the truth that's that's got to go up right now we have a bit of a problem with the the height no the, the volume of frequency I'm getting I need a higher volume of frequency now they accept that now they're building me something higher frequency and uh, you know, as soon we got that stabilized, we have something was working, and also the quality of the product is very important, especially in the electronics. Um, all my electronics is is highest quality we're going to be able to find, you know, for civilian and, and military that are same compartment. So we have very high high quality. Uh, when we're going to put those controller out there, not electronic, uh, the electronic is top of the line. Um, same thing with the uh, the power supply. I mean, that's I'm testing the power supply, 500 volt power supply. You ever heard of 500 volt power DC power supply in North America? Uh, hey, I'm 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 talking to you guys. How come we can't build this shit here? You know, I got a 60 volt, and I think you know the last the biggest one they made it was 120 volt, and it and and, and it weighed like 45 pounds. You know why we can't make this shit here? But, you know, and then people complain why I'm going to China. Because I'm actually getting something done there. And they don't, they don't ask us, you know, for, 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 for a million dollars every, every time we talk to them. So, so now we're going we're gonna to just do the, our last test. And then soon we do the last test, me and my friend will be going directly into to on flight to Hong Kong to go to China. And then we're gonna be uh, staying with the uh, the company for probably I would say between all the company we have to see we have five to six company we have to see so we're probably gonna be visiting those company at least a week each company we're gonna be giving time there and and they they want us to go there so we can work with them and and to explain a little bit more what we are doing because they're still not knowing exactly what we're doing with that. But now they they getting to find out that because they have those big drum motor over there. I sent well, my my friend sent them some over there, and uh, we just now they have the toy in their hand. They know the, they start seeing the potential. What I'm talking about, right? The potential is is very simple. I mean. If you have a, a, a car with the motor is not very good, you put you can replace that motor with that mo with this power drive and run your car, and it will recharge its battery just like a normal thing, because it doesn't take a lot of amp to do the work, like we have today. Everything is all about amp to do the work. If you don't have amp, it's no work done in the end. This thing is volt and frequency. Well, high volt we all know. You can make high volt all day long, it's dirt cheap, it's like Borsch, right? Frequency is equally cheap than make high volt. 
it doesn't cost barely nothing to make high frequency. So now we have high volt and high frequency. As long as we have a teeny weeny weeny bit of 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 of, uh, of resistance or current, if you want to call it, we're good with that. We don't need a whole bucket full of it. We just need a couple, maybe one and a half, two, three, and now for the bigger stuff. That's all we need. We're converting the amp to very high voltage and high frequency. So we and and and, and we don't need to carry the amp into it. We we can leave the amp behind. If we look at the at 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 the, at the scale. When we, 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 we put that on, 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 the, uh, on the instrument, when the volt and the frequency climbs together, this thing is unstoppable. Soon the volt start passing the frequency and the frequency start picking in down, suddenly the amp start climbing up, up the chain. You bring the frequency back in, up, the amp drop down the bottom. So, I don't know, call me crazy if you want, but that's what's happening and that's what we're doing. So, you know, uh, when we got everything put in the right place, you know, uh, don't try to stop it because it's, it's not going to stop. I mean, look, Japan, you know, they, 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 they try they just, they just start to teach, you know, how to work with those hyperdrive the way I do and, and see what I see. In Japan, you know, and 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 the college, you know. So I mean, like you know, when you have country, we have India, we have Pakistan doing the same thing. Now, the Europe and a lot of Europe uh, uh, country, they decide, you know, they should be teaching that into into the school. I mean, younger you teach the kids, better they will learn about it. You know, if they don't get lied to it, they might learn something. So I mean, it's it's, it's we're gonna we're going into to. You know, it seems like we're not going anywhere, but that's the way. I think my battery is flashing me. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna let let you say it. I will uh, I will put that up and uh, to let you know. And, and uh, I would say about another another week and a half, two weeks, we should be able to put a looping system on the load in the video. So thumbs up you for for everybody up you know who, who try to help me and, and I appreciate everybody who, who know who helped me in, in, in finance and all that stuff a little bit you know really help you know it, it doesn't matter um, because we have a lot of it, a lot of expense so far I mean coming in so I appreciate all that so well we'll be talking to you next time and now hopefully you'll be seeing a generator the 10 kV turning by itself or my 4 kV turning by itself if I can do that quick enough for you guys. In the meantime, you guys have a good day and uh, enjoy life.